Well, Africa is experiencing strong population growth, estimated at 2.2% per annum, a noticeable decline in poverty levels with more spending on education. Joining us now to discuss the market for private education in Africa is Julian Kanigan, the CEO of education group Educor here, uh, Educor Africa. Thank you so much for joining us, Julian. Thank you very well, much. Well, let's just start with what you're planning to do um, and in terms of just expanding to the rest of the African continent. You say that you have an eye on Nigeria right now and you have started operations there. Yes, we've been on starting our operations there. We've been through the regulatory framework to make sure that our colleges and our courses are accredited with the relevant authorities. Uh, we've already been to uh, prospective premises that we have, have an eye on uh, obtaining and then we're looking at from a long-term view with regard to opening a multimedia campus to support the Nollywood uh, film industry uh, and thereafter ultimately applying for a university license which uh, we've been invited to do so. I'm actually interested in talking about that Nollywood industry because, I mean, it's, it's, it's huge in just in terms of how many movies they put out there. What would you like to do in that space? Well, actually, we've had a meeting with the Department of Culture under whose ministry it falls under, and he is actually has a mandate to train uh, the scarce skills that are required to support this industry. And uh, so we're looking at a public-private partnership with the federal government of Nigeria to open a multimedia campus to actually... Um, uplift uh, the Nigerians with regard to the relevant skills to support that industry. Well, let's talk about some of, some of the other interests that, that, that they might be, because it, I would imagine you know, different countries would, would require different needs and also different skills. So, so in Nigeria, what is the, for you, is, has been the skill that they would like you know, most investment in? Well, certainly I think with regard to the industries that are actually coming in, uh, like the financial se se sectors and the telecommunications sectors. So you're looking at a lot of uh, banking, IT, commercial subjects and courses that would be relevant there. And then certainly to support the mining and oil and gas industries, you're going to look at technical courses. And it goes without saying with regard to media courses, journalism, uh, to support the media industry there. I want to talk a little bit about what's happening in because that's a country that you've already started you've already started you know talking to the relevant people you know building the network that you need there but if you look at South Africa for instance we've got loads of universities here we've got loads of other private um, colleges here is, is it that that has probably prompted you to go outside of the continent or is it more growth opportunities or a combination of both I think it's a combination of both and as well it's been more of a pull rather than a push strategy from an educor perspective in that uh, we've had overtures from certain of the uh, governments and the uh, private sector uh, initiatives in these countries to actually come out there. Also, there's been a disparity between government spending, certainly on an African context, on public education. And that gap has created an opportunity now for private players who want to make a difference through um, various jurisdictions across Africa to come and enter into those markets. And just in terms of, of, of accreditation, you were talking about this, in terms of accreditation, if somebody is coming to one of your institutions, you know, um, why would they choose your institution as opposed to a university? I think our, our institutions have been around for a long time, certainly in a South African context, and they're well-known brands. Uh, they have the pedigree of being, uh, you know, uh, uh, accredited institutions selling accredited courses and they're strong brands and it certainly has uh, those kind of means to go into the African continent. Let's talk a little bit about where else your eye, your, you've got an eye on another country that you'd like to move into. Well we, we're starting off with uh, a hub in Nigeria and moving on to Ghana next and thereafter we're moving on to uh, East Africa. Hub. I want to talk a little bit about Ghana, what's the interest there? Um, good GDP, stable government, um, young population, uh, smaller market naturally than Nigeria, but uh, we've seen a, a yearning and a desire to be educated at a tertiary level, uh, which is the environment that we actually operate in. Are you going to be going in with your own staff or are you going to be looking at, at, at you know, getting a local contingent working in your institutions? Local contingent that we will train either in, back in South Africa or training on board whilst we're there, but certainly we're looking at a, a local contingent. What are some of the challenges that, that you foresee in going into, into some of the other African countries? Well, certainly with regard to Nigeria, and it's the power and the security issues and the infrastructure. But um, as an entrepreneurial organization where others might see challenges, we see the opportunities. And so we're certainly going with, in with our eyes wide open. Thank you so much for joining us.